From 1997 to 2002, Bayliner, part of the Brunswick Boat Group, turned out some truly luxurious and spacious cruisers. Now this week on Foodytis, we're going to take a look at the flagship of the line, a 2000 5788 motor yacht. Boarding aft via the large swim platform, the 5788 presents you with molded steps and transom gates to port and starboard. The sizable cockpit is protected by the bridge overhang and molded steps lead to the side decks and up to the bridge. While the side decks are a bit narrow aft, there is a solid rail and the deck widens past the pilot house doors which provide the best access for moving forward. In a recessed well at the bow, the 5788 is outfitted with oversight hawsers, cleats and windlass befitting a yacht of this size. Stepping into the pilot house, anyone can appreciate the layout. The helm is expansive, yet all of the controls, engine instruments and upgraded navigational screens and systems are conveniently within sight and reach. The view forward and out the doors is excellent and the captain's chair will be comfortable for hours. A jump seat to port and an aft sofa allow the crew to enjoy the view while underway as well. Curved stairs lead from the pilot house to the three staterooms below. At the top is the first of the boat's electrical panels. The second panel is under the counter in the pilot house cabinet. Fully forward the guest stateroom rivals many cruisers' staterooms with its island berth, twin hatches, four ports, and teak cabinets. It also has a private entry to the shared head with sink and vanity, separate shower, and vacuum flush toilet. Opposite the head is a small bunk suitable for two, which features a hanging locker and underbunk drawers. The washer and dryer are located in the companionway. Aft under the pilot house, is the full beam master. The stateroom is exceptionally well appointed with dressing table and drawers, full size closet, night tables, bookshelves, and a second closet. Opposite the bed is the TV, a well appointed vanity, and a private head complete with a bathtub. Now the couple of really great features about the 5788 are of course the pilot house which is a wonderful place to operate a boat from but here the salon this is the big selling feature it's a wide open airy space right from the aft deck through the galley with a great comfortable dinette. Port aft an L-shaped sofa and high-low table sit opposite the refreshment center with sink, ice maker, bottle and glass storage and the home entertainment system with satellite. The galley on this bay liner is exceptional. Features include Corian counters, electric oven and cooktop, and a full-size refrigerator. Nice touches are the dishwasher, trash compactor, and plentiful cupboards and drawers. The comfortable dinette is to starboard. Overall, the style and quality of materials and the fit and finish throughout are remarkable given the price of the 5788 when new. An open stairway and hatch lead up to the flybridge. Protected by custom canvas, the upper helm is as well equipped and comfortable as the pilot house. The bridge has its own refreshment center, small settee and locker. And when the tender is launched, the deck space on the bridge will host a sizable open air party. Getting underway is aided by the aftermarket stern and bow thrusters. Equipped with manned 610 diesels, this 5788 cruises at 15 knots and tops out at 22 knots. With an overall length of 59 feet and a beam of 17 feet, her handling is best described as stately and relaxed, exactly as a luxury motor yacht should cruise. Finding real value in a 59 foot yacht may seem like a bit of a dichotomy, but that's what you get with these big bay liners. Now when Meridian took over the line in 2003, they upped the price significantly, so you can find real value in the used market looking for models like this 5788 built before 2002.